What is the fastest way you've lost a friend? Went on a double date and she was super rude to the guy I set her up with. He was a friend of mine too. She was so rude I told her the next day that I was disgusted by her behavior and I didn't want to be friends with someone who treats others so badly. We never hung out again. Good for you. Two friends got into a fight and stopped talking to each other. I made them realize their mistakes and brought them together. Then they unfriended me. Yay. Good deeds to reap benefits. First, your username. Amazing. Second, I've been told that doing something good should be done because it's right, not because you gain something. That helped me come to terms with unexpected and hard to swallow outcomes in the past when I've been crap all over. Rather than live in the dorms our freshman year of college we decided to share an apartment across the street from our department's building on campus. It was the worst, and killed off our years long bestie friendship. Even though I don't have personal experience with this, I've seen a few couples break up after moving in with each other, so now I suggest to try and live with each other before getting married. H. Not just one friend, multiple of my closest friends. If you play with fire, you will get burned. I miss them dearly and I try to live a better life every day for them. This one hits home. My best friend in high school started drinking heavily at beginning of junior year. Then he started doing coke which turned into crack. After we were done with high school he switched over to H and pills. He passed away at 19 years old. It was awful watching the progress of all of these drugs taking away my best friend slowly. I'm sorry you had to to go through this as well. Told her that her boyfriend was cheating on her and I saw it with my own eyes. She said I was a jealous liar and a bad friend. Weeks later he dumps her because he was cheating on her. She still never spoke to me again. Literally went from really close friends to never speaking or seeing each other ever again in a single conversation. She probably realized her mistake and was just too embarrassed or hot headed to admit she was in the wrong. It always sucks when you get someone like that. His family was in dire financial straits straits. I loaned him over 10k dollars. A couple of years later, he asks me about this car he really wants to buy and I suggested that maybe he might consider paying me back before spending on classic collectible cars. He went off on a rant and said that his wife, since the dire straight, they got divorced, stole the money from me and he was innocent and all sorts of crap. That was the last I ever heard of him. Shame. We were as close as brothers for a very long time. His ex. Wife is still a good friend though. Never loan money to a friend unless there's a contact or you make peace with the fact that you don't want it back. My friend never liked my girlfriend, now wife, and I never really knew why. He was a good friend but I really liked this girl and he was starting to distance himself from me it seemed. One day me and him were hanging out and he was bitching about how he didn't think my girlfriend was a good fit for me. I really liked her and I kept pushing him to tell me what's up until he finally said to me what if you're the last one in your family to have kids? Your bloodline will no longer be white. I laughed and thought he was joking. He was serious. Jesus Christ that's horrible. Great reason to unfriend. WTF can you do with such people? I had an online friend who I'd spoken with on the phone on numerous occasions. She always said she felt like she had known me for years. But then I told her I didn't like Nancy Grace. I thought Nancy Grace had made a living feeding off of the corpses of murdered children. Never spoke to me again. You're much better off without them. Thought they were a pretty fun person upon our first set of interactions. Then, the second time around, they started things off with, well now that we're acquainted, you should know that I consider myself a renaissance man. Proceeded to give an R.I. am Verus much spiel about his various accomplishments and enlightened interests that absolutely killed any potential friendship. Opened up to him about my struggles with depression. Following day he messaged me saying he couldn't have that much negativity in his life and couldn't continue being a friend. That really sucks. One of my close friends has really distanced herself from me since I shared that I was struggling. I'm sorry. I honestly have no idea. I bought a plane ticket to fly to see her and help her move our home state. I didn't want her to have to drive 18 plus hours by herself. I spent 3 days hanging out in the city she lived in. We had a great time. 
We had dinner with her family the last night there, and she suddenly got weird. She shut me out completely. She didn't speak to me for the entire drive home. 18 hours in a car, in silence. She hasn't spoken to me since. I have no idea what I did. It's been almost 10 years and it still bums me out. She was my best friend too. Friends from middle school through high school. The guy progressively turned into an butthole through the years. He was super cool when it was just me and him hanging out, but was a complete dong when others were around by putting me down to try to make himself look better. Had a falling out right before high school graduation, and I figured it was for the best since we would be going to different colleges. Years later we ran into each other in our hometown during Christmas break and reconnected. Seemed like we picked up where we left off. Super cool when it was just us and we had a good time catching up. All of a sudden when we would hang out when other people were around. He would be the same butthole he was when I knew him in high school. He was basically the same person he was in high school except he picked up a drug habit. I tried giving it pass because I know how hard it is to keep friends around as you get older. But one night we got into a big argument and led to me kicking him out of my car. He ended up being extremely buttfoot by it and wouldn't even respond to my calls or texts after that. I tried apologizing to the point that it felt like I was chasing him down. Then it occurred to me, why the frick am I practically begging this butthole to be friends with me when he's a piece of crap that is always treating me bad and he couldn't forgive me for one crappy thing I did? I'm so grateful he didn't get back to me. I understand it's good to keep friendships going but why would you want a toxic one? I chalk it up to being young and dumb. But now I'm very careful with who I let into my life, and it's been great. Life has been so much better because of that former friendship, because it helped me vet out the bad and keep in the good. I can relate. I took her piece of candy when we were desk mates in second grade. The teacher had to move us because she would talk to me ever again. Went the whole grade without her ever saying a peep to me. Dang piece of candy. Never underestimate the power of a Charleston chew. Well, friend. In early middle school I knew a guy who would beat up the people who picked on me. That was his job, not theirs. He was a grade A sucker, and I didn't have enough experience with people to realize it at the time. One day he got bored of our friendship mid recess and refused to acknowledge I was talking to him. He spent the next half hour asking his other friends if they hear something, since all he hears is a worm, him being one of my only friends. It was pretty crushing at the time. Looking back, crying about it and begging him to freaking notice me was a crap way to deal with the situation and fed right into his superiority complex. I'm sorry dude. I had this happen to me in the 6th grade. It definitely was a crushing moment for me since I had no other friends to hang out with. Luckily I moved and found a decent group of friends. Found out he was cheating on his wife of less than 2 years because they had grown distant after she had a baby. Who knew having a third life dropped into your life would cause things to change. I know both him and his side piece. They are both dead to me. I spent 3 years caring for and supporting her unconditionally, through good times and bad. When she was near bedridden with depression over her stagnant life and health problems, I encouraged her to go back to school. Well she went back to school, and she made new friends. She then said we don't connect anymore and moved out. It was less than halfway through the first semester, and she blamed it on my grief over a death in the family. She broke up with her boyfriend. He was also part of the friend group for a few years. A week later she tried to force him out of the friend group by kicking him from all group messaging platforms because she was the one that introduced him to us in the first place. We refused to let her. She said I, the gay friend, only wanted him because I want to bang him. He came out as be a few weeks before. Then she left and blocked us all from everything. We had been friends for like 4 years. Moving. Had developed some very close friendships at my previous job. When I left and moved 150 miles away the friendships just vanished despite my attempts to stay in touch. Was pretty much ghosted. Did not even receive a message of condolence after my wonderful dad died in January and I know they were told by a mutual friend of his passing. I learned from my first job at 16 that co-worker friends are friends of convenience just like most school friends. Once that daily meetings place ends, so do most of the friendships. My cat died and I was devastated. 
ex-friend saw me crying and went it's just an animal, whatever, Pepe was just an animal, but it was that friend who was a massive bee, never spoke to her again. Number, there is no such thing as just an animal. One time a friend got mad at me for spending time with another friend who they didn't like. Instead of talking to me about it they just wrote a passive aggressive, patronizing, and overly dramatic journal about how I betrayed them on Deviantit. I just blocked them and never spoke to them again lol. Dodge a bullet to be honest. I don't know but I feel like the fact that it got thrown on Deviantit adds a lot more context to the situation. Confided in my best friend that I'd been raped sexually abused for a portion of my life. They were the only person I'd ever told in the 10 out of 17 years of my life it had been happening. Their response. Why do you ruin things? You're peeing me off right now. Good night. I gave them a chance to take it back and apologize. To realize what they've just done but they stood their ground and told me I was in the wrong for being mad at them and continued to accuse me of playing the rape card. Despite us being best friends and having to spend further time together in school and social events, I knew I could never really see them as a decent human being anymore let alone a friend. Took me months to realize it wasn't my fault the friendship ended and even now I still blame myself when I'm feeling crappy. I should say that it wasn't an out of the blue statement. Throughout the past year and a half I'd implied plenty times of the things that had been done to me but he chose to ignore the subtle hints. I was too afraid to say it out loud. I finally worked up the courage to tell them and that was their reaction. Had this friend I was super close with for about 7 years. I'm trying to get my life together and he fell into the world of drugs and was trying his best to drag me with him. I tried to keep him clean and help him out but I could only handle so much of him. He started being late all the time. He was high no matter what. And there were times where he would make up obvious excuses to just not hang out. Even when we did hang out anyways he would try to pressure me to hang out with his drug dealer and try stuff with him. I haven't spoken to my best friend at all in 3 months now. I wish I could have done more to stop this from happening but I'm glad at the same time because I could have easily fell into the same hole as him. Good for you for trying to keep him clean. Unfortunately some people don't realize what they're doing to themselves. Or don't care. I'm sorry you lost a friend to drugs colon. I had this girl over at my place and we were watching a show. I was having period cramps and got myself a hot water bottle, which she then took from me because her hands were cold. She refused to give it back, saying that I'll be in pain with or without it, but if her hands get too cold, her skin will crack. They were incredibly rude to wait staff when we went out together. I was a waitress for years, I have no tolerance for that BS. Someone's true nature I revealed in their conduct to those they, wrongfully in this case, view as their inferiors, not a friend worth having. He started sharplifting regularly and wanted me to promise I wouldn't tell. I didn't tell, but advised him to seek help, which he refused to do. She tried to convert me, I was already a freaking Christian, just not her sort. I went to her church one Sunday when I was visiting, because it was a new and big part of her life and I was trying to keep an open mind. But she set me up afterwards for an ambush by four of her friends, who hammered me with proof texts to show me what a pathetic excuse for a Christian I was. And she just sat there and let it happen, even when I was close to tears. I kind of ghosted her after that, which I'm a bit ashamed of, but I couldn't face another such encounter. I never saw her again. Jebus, that's rough. Good for you for staying away from that toxic person. Hey, I'm doing this mentorship thing. You should come and check it out. So I go, to support her since she's having a hard go at things, only to find out it's a presentation to an MLM. Once I dropped her home, we never spoke again. She was jealous of my boyfriend, told me to break up with him or our friendship was over. I chose my boyfriend. I broke up with him a few years later and she tried to hook up with him my ex and I thought it was hilarious and still laugh about it. People, including me, always assume breakups are horrible and exes are the enemy. I think it's pretty funny that your ex sounds like a better friend than ultimatum girl. Had a friend from when I was 4 to 11. He started hanging out with this butthole kid who started corrupting him. One day my friend poured syrup in my hair and I kicked the frick out of him. 
we got suspended and we didn't talk much after that. Also not the fastest, but something I think about all the time. Had a friend all throughout high school, really cool funny guy. We had all the same interests, and mutual friends. We would hang out and would shop and play Xbox all the dang time. But as soon as we graduated he stopped hanging out with anybody and everybody and started going to the gym 24 stroke 7. And got a GF to spend the rest of his spare time with. Became super flacky. Super sad. He was one of the coolest dudes I knew. Got hit by some laced weed once. Ended up puking in my friend's flower garden for like an hour. Never saw the guy again despite being friends for years. Jeez. Not like you plan to bath in the flowers. By telling my mom about a fight that happened when we were all together. Apparently my mom isn't allowed to know about what happens when she's out of town. Friend has BPD and decided to drop me in a really rude way immediately after I helped them immensely with a huge coding project, effectively preventing them from failing. Having someone close to you with BPD can be very challenging. I have an immediate family member with it. I tried out for the swim team and not the tennis team like she did. I was a traitor and she turned most of our friends against me. Was friends with this girl for years. Her partner adored her. She begged him to propose and when he did she accepted. Used the deposit money for the flowers and stuff to fund her boozy nights out with her girlfriend. Led him along. Never told anyone. Tried to use me to stalk his page after the breakup. I got over that friendship pretty quick as one she was a crappy person to do that to another human being too. She never told me crap and thought I'd happily go along with her stalking plan just to appease her. B I'm not desperate I have enough real friends to be used by a fake one. Oh she also asked my daughter to be bridesmaid. Took her to dress fittings etc and then dropped her like a sack of crap and knew all along that my daughter would never be bridesmaid because the wedding wasn't happening. Wasting my time and my daughter's. Freaking idiotic woman. I hung around with my friend nearly every dang day, going to the beach whatever, anything during freshman and sophomore year of high school. He got a job at a grocery store and met a girl. We all went to the fair because he wanted to introduce me to her. I still remember when we were saying goodbye near sunset, and they ran off gazing into each other's eyes like a movie scene. That was the last day I hung out with him. Randomly, maybe 4 years later during college I ran into him. He was getting married to her and was going to take a flight to visit her family in Chicago. He was freaking out because he realized he had never dated any girl, but her and college opened up the world to him. I would later find out that he freaking bailed on the fiancé that is, left her hanging in Chicago. He didn't take the flight to visit her family and the wedding was called off. What a sick turn of events. Now former best friend of mine visits me after I got out of the hospital from a 5 month stay from a brain injury and steals from me thinking I wouldn't notice since he thinks I'm retarded now. Ro. I've moved around a lot and distance is the true friend killer so I'll skip all those. I made a really good friend last year. My boyfriend, this new friend, and myself were like the three musketeers. We did so much together. The friendship lasted about 9 months and then it ended with a single comment. My boyfriend was pretty convinced our mutual friend is gay and closeted. I was reasonably sure myself but felt there was no need for us to address it. We both got to come out on our own terms and while I'd love to help someone be who they are. Forcing it is terrible. Well my boyfriend disagreed. We're all in our late 20s and he was sure he was doing the right thing by getting our friend to come out instead of waiting. One day we were eating lunch and he dropped a not so subtle hint that we thought he was gay. I watched my friend's face closely and when he understood what my BF was implying, his entire demeanor changed. You could essentially see the walls come up. He didn't answer and I changed the subject. Then our friend stopped talking to us completely. We used to work out at the same time and it was always our sort of meet up place where we'd see each other, spill the tea, etc. I thought I'd be able to defuse the situation by talking with him some but he started working out at a different time, rejected our attempts to hang out. I tried asking him about it and he made excuses. He made it apparent he was done with us. If I were a more confident person I'd have probably been more forceful about breaking through his defenses to repair the friendship but one of my own personal demons is believing that no one actually wants to be my close friend. So when he was done with us, I interpreted it as an ineffable thing. 
Validating my feelings, even if they are were wrong. It happened in an instant. Complete severance. It put my head in a spin and it honestly put a strain on my relationship with my boyfriend because he was such an important part of our lives and I'll admit it was nice having a mutual friend who could sometimes play buffer between us. I am sorry but your BF is a dong. I was in butthole when I came home from college and was hanging out a friend from high school that had a girlfriend I didn't like. I felt she was bossy and he was just whipped. We were out drinking and he took a call from her. Came back to the table and said she wanted him to leave. I was in butthole and said something like when she says jump. Do you even ask how high? He bailed. Left me there. Was my ride. And he was totally right to do so. I was a dong. And he wouldn't take my calls after that. I did try to apologize by voicemail. But never spoke to him again. It sucks when wake up calls hit you like that. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.